my name is Beth Christie. Good afternoon. Oh, Ms. Beth, have we met before? Yes, we have. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. We did <laughs> back in 1991 in a little place called Meadville, Pennsylvania. You guys were on tour. You had just had uh, She's in Love with a Boy, and you were about to win CMA Entertainer of the Year Award. So yeah, and I was there and brought you guys on stage and couldn't believe I was there, and you climbed on a speaker and you scared the crap out of me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it didn't stop since then. It's 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 been fun. Uh, what people may not know about us is the first tour she ever opened up was ours, and the first tour we ever had an opening act. It was her. Cool. So uh, we've been kind of doing this together since day one. But I've been practicing a lot since ninety one, so <laughs> I'm, I'm better. I, I just I think if you remember the show, I just did this. That was what I did. <laughs> now I do this. <laughs> that. That's really awesome. Do you guys have a pre-show ritual that you do? That's what I wanted to. I was kind of curious before you. We actually have the exact same one, which we didn't know until we started touring together, living together. We actually neither one of us likes to be ready ahead of time because that's when you get nervous. So people are always like, "Don't you want some downtime before the show starts?" And we're like, "No, we we are we're doing meet and greets and we're getting ready right up until that second. I've been known to paint my nails walking out to the stage because I just. If I'm ready and waiting, then the nerves set in. And he does the exact same thing. He doesn't paint his nails on the stage, but I mean, I don't think so, but same exact thing. Yeah, pretty much. You just try and stay busy as you can. If not, you start thinking. And if you're a guy and you start thinking, you're in trouble because you can't think and exist at the same time as you're a guy. So we're not multitasking. But this reminds me a little bit of the very first city was Chicago a year and a half ago. And we were in the dressing room together, and I was scared because I'd never done a tour like this. I figured this is guy. This guy can't be nervous, and we were both so nervous. We took a selfie. We looked terrified, and uh, we never showed it to anybody because we really looked like we're about to be sick. And I feel a little bit like that today, <laughs> so, just because it's Yankee Stadium. You know, it's just uh, it's massive. And standing out there last night and rehearsing, it's overwhelming. It's amazing. That's the same way you go. <clears throat> because the bottom line, why you're nervous is you don't want to disappoint. <clears throat> just to get here what these people have to go through just to sit in the seat. I don't know why they do that. I would understand it for Billy Joel. 100%. Done it and felt lucky to do it. Don't understand it for Garth Brooks. I can understand it for Chris Shearer, but I don't for me. So you just don't want to disappoint those people because they must believe in you a lot to go through what it takes to do. 